Hello everyone, I'm Nadia. Welcome back to the Full Stripper channel. Today I'm going to talk about things I wish I knew before becoming a mother. If you are a mom, I hope you'll be able to relate with few things I will talk about in this video. And if you are pregnant or you plan to have babies in the future, I hope you find this video interesting. So without wasting time, let's get into it. My first will be the labor pain. <laughs> Growing up, I've heard my aunties and later on, friend of mine who became mother before me talk about labor pain, but I've never, ever, ever in my life imagined it could hurt that bad. My own experience was terrible. You know, I was the kind of person that was like, I will reach hospital, I will endure the labor pain, I will deliver like a Nero woman, nothing will happen, I will be okay, I will not take uh, this, uh, how do you call this thing? I will not take any injection to ease my pain. <laughs> hmm. I was crying and begging for the injection to ease my pain. Believe me, it hurt. It hurt terribly. <laughs> My second one will be the expectation you have when you meet your child. Let me explain. When we are pregnant, we are one. We and our child are one. The minute we put to bed, they are a total person on their own. When I met my children, the four of them, I thought I would have this explosion of of feeling i thought i would be like you are the person i've been waiting for all my life and the love will be overwhelming and i will be i will be like yeah i'm a mother and i hold them in my arm i cried i cried because uh, i was happy the whole pregnancy journey was over but the fact still remains that when you meet your child you are meeting a stranger you have to learn to know them to accept them for who they are and to grow with them. While they are growing, you grow with them. So meeting your child at first is like meeting a stranger. For the relationship to work, for that bound to be there, the mother, daughter, mother, son bound to be there, you need to work on it. It's not automatic. We think it's, it's normal. I'm the mom, so that bound will be there. No. The bound, you create it step by step. Another one is the sleepless night. <laughs> nothing prepare you to the sleepless night no matter how they describe the sleepless night you need to experience it a baby need to eat every three hours as a parent you have to make sure your child have his food every three three hours or every four four hours and some kids can be terrible during the day, they sleep very well, and in the night, they their eyes will be widely open. They'll be looking at you, and they will be expecting you to be playing with them. So, if you are a mom, you can relate. But if you are pregnant or a future mom, get ready. The sleepless night is real. Another one is the worry. The moment you become a parent, you are constantly worried. I will wake in the middle of the night just to check on my kids, just to make sure they are fine. They are covered properly. They, they are not lacking anything. They are not having fever. When my, my daughter is at my brother's place or she's at my in law place, I call constantly to know if she's doing fine. I'm worried about her. Not that I'm not trusting people she's staying with at that moment, but just that I'm her mom and I'm constantly worried about her. I wish I knew how life-changing becoming a parent could be. Because uh, in, my, in my own case, it changed all the aspects of my life, professionally and socially. Professionally, I used to be a team coach. I left home very early. I came back very late. I even bring work home to finish what I did not finish at work. But the minute I became a parent, that lifestyle was not compatible with my family lifestyle. So I have to change my lane of profession. Socially, I have a new set of friends. It did not happen overnight. It happened gradually. I just woke up one day and I found that I have a new set of friends that have similar lifestyle. What happened is we swap histories. We encourage each other. We motivate each other. And yeah, parenting style. My husband and I never sit down to talk about uh, how we wanted to raise our kids because we have the same parenting style. But if you feel your partner 
parenting style is different for your, from your own, it's advisable for you and your partner to sit down to discuss on how you want to raise your children and to have the same parenting style. It's very, very important. So you guys can be united in front of your kids. Division is not allowed when you are raising a child. A schedule. Having a schedule is life-saving. It doesn't matter whether you have multiple or you have a single child. You need schedule. If I take my personal case, I'm someone that likes to have things under control. I need to know when things will happen and how it will happen. Even though you can't control everything, still, you need to have a certain routine. If your kids grow up with a routine, they will stick to that routine and it will make life easier for you later on. Another thing is not having time for yourself. Or at least not having time for yourself the way you used to. I remember when I was pregnant of my daughter, I was hospitalized and um, I was tired. I think I was eight months pregnant. I was heavy. I could not go anywhere. I was bored. And there was this nurse, very kind nurse that came into my room at the hospital and she was trying to have a conversation with me and to be nice. And I was telling her, ah, I can't wait to give to put to bed, I want to go to cinema, I want to go to visit my friends, I want to travel. The nurse actually looked at me like this. Then she asked me, is it your first child? I said, yes, it's my first child. She had a very big smile and she said, I understand. But let me give you a hint. Once you put to bed, all those things you are talking about, you, you will not be able to do them at least in the first month of your child life. I didn't understand. I told her, I know it will change my life, but I'll still have time to do whatever I want to do. She looked at me and she, keeps smi she kept smiling because she understood no matter how she explained, I won't get it. One month after I put to bed, then, then I, re I fully realized what she was trying to tell me. The message she was trying to get across me that I did not understand. When you become a mother, you have less time for yourself because there's another life that is depending on you and everything you have to do, you need to put that child before yourself. The last thing is I didn't know how much I would fall in love with my kids. For me, my children are my all. The love I have for them is visceral. The love comes from within, very deep. And it's a kind of love you cannot explain. These are a few things I wanted to share with you. Let's keep the conversation going in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, give the video a thumb up, share, subscribe tell a friend to tell another friend to be part of our family and i will see you in my next one take care of yourself because by doing so you take care of others stay safe and peace out